And now a word about your pets. So people say that pets or animals have the, they have the ability to sense that an earthquake's going on. So your cat or your dog might be acting really weird. And you go, oh, oh wow, it was because of an earthquake. So yes, that is true. Your animals might be acting weird before the earthquake happens. But oftentimes your dog or cat just acts strange all the time. So you don't know, is it either an earthquake or is there not? But animals do have some ability to sense that there's an earthquake coming ahead of time. And often we can realize it afterwards. So it's very hard to see like, oh, that must be an earthquake. So just be aware that your animal might be weird. During an earthquake, though, animals do have these instincts, no matter what kind of animal they are. They do have, they might try to get themselves to a safe place. So your cat might disappear for a little while. Your dog might do something that you go. So the most important thing is don't risk your life to try to save your pets, because most likely your pet is trying to do something to protect itself. So if you're running through the house going, where's my dog? And trying to grab it, then it's trying, it's most likely it's freaked out too. It's trying to scratch you. It might be trying to run away. And so if you are trying to intervene, you're more li likely to end up causing your pet harm than to keep them safe. So to some extent, let your pet go. And unfortunately, your pet might not make it through an earthquake, which is sad, And but that, unfortunately, you are more important than your pet. So that really is true. So do whatever you need to to protect yourself. And then secondarily, once you're sure all the humans in your house are safe, then that's time to think about your pets. Also, often with earthquakes, animals might run away and disappear for a week or so after the initial shock. And you might lose them, and then they will end up working their way home, or they might turn up somewhere else. But animals do have an innate instinct to try to solve, to get themselves out of harm's way. So I'd say let them do what they need to do, and then you can try to take care of them later. Um, fish, unfortunately, generally don't fare very well in earthquakes. Aquariums are a very common thing that will crack and break and fall. So I'm sorry if you have fish, but you can do things to try to protect them as much as possible, but they will indeed, the water will slosh during an earthquake. And that's one thing I remember most from the 1993 earthquake was watching the swimming pool and all the water was sloshing out of the pool. So anything you have with water will indeed be sloshing around. So be aware of that.